Hi all and welcome to this casual blitz session. I'll be playing uh, five minute games plus three seconds increment per move. And um, let me see, I can create a game here. Uh, so I'm playing five plus three casual and um, I'm doing casual because it gives more people the opportunity to accept my challenge. Uh, the experience is that on leeches when you play rated then you're normally presented with quite a narrow rating bracket around your own um, rating and while that's a good thing if you want to get ahead in uh, in blitz if you want to improve your rating i think it's also more fun to uh, give uh, more people an opportunity uh, to play me uh, to accept my challenges and uh, so therefore this time around i'll be doing a casual session so here we go We'll play either white or black. Let's see who will play us. I'll have to wait a little bit. I'm wondering, am I still in Zen mode? Because if we are in Zen mode, then I think we should be changing the preferences. Oh, we're in Zen mode. Well, we'll change the preferences uh, after this game. The nice thing about Zen mode here in leeches or on leeches is that you don't really see the rating of your opponent. So you can also not get um, sort of impressed um, with a high rating and you can also not um, take maybe an opponent with a slightly inferior rating not so serious. Okay, so yeah, he wants to do that, right? Well, let me just continue developments. Nothing wrong with that. Knight f3, but we'll have to be careful. You know, blitz is blitz, and it's very, it's it's difficult. It's just really difficult to play blitz well. And so far, my opponent is playing a very logical and sound opening. Even though we don't necessarily knight the knight on c6, it also is an, a more active knight than, for instance, when it would be on d7. Um, so now, what he probably wants is something like knight e4. Maybe it is time for me yeah to to start questioning that that bishop a little bit and simultaneously uh, defend my knight on c3 i'm still not completely sure how i should play these positions i should revisit the theory here because this this happens so often they put knights on c6 and f6 bishops on b4 and f5 and I'm just confused. I'm just confused. I do know what the, the plan in general could be if I can make arrows. Uh, since the knight is in front of the C pawn, there may be some play for me along the C file sooner or later. And um, for that uh, to happen, I would probably also need to open up the C file by, um, by playing this exchange. But for the moment, I have to finish my development. So uh, if I play bishop c4, which is a normal move, then I don't have to be afraid of knight a5, because then I would take the bishop. So that seems to be just fine. Let me just play that. Now, if he takes on c3 with check... Um, aha. <laughs> okay, so he's preparing that. Yeah, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Um... Yeah, maybe in this case I should play bishop b5 then, right? Because um, the threat here is definitely a3, uh, knight, knight a5. I cannot go a3 because he would play knight a5. I take on b4 with the queen, they exchange, and then knight c4. And um, I don't like my position there. So probably the best thing to do against that th well it's not really a threat well if a castle it's knight a5 it's bishop b5 check and then it's c6 and he would be hitting bishop and queen so i think this is really the best way to go bishop b5 hmm all this explaining you know it takes me a lot of time i'm already down on the clock um not sure I'm too happy with my position, so he's now renewing the threat, so I think I should just take the knight now, but now I might be in danger on the b5 
PHP file. Of course, I have some structural advantage. Um, but the other problem is that he might be threatening bishop d3, and that would really ruin my uh, my chances there. So I think, you know, just for safety's sake, there are some other moves like a3 and maybe knight e5. But for safety's sake, it feels best if I just castle. Finish development. And now see if I can make use of some of his weaknesses, you know. Uh, the bishop on b4 can be attacked. Uh, I think I should take that. I think I should take that. Okay, let's not think too long about it. And um, now one idea, uh, quite nice, is knight e5 with the threat of going to c6. And then knight, uh, rook b8 can also be answered with knight c6. That looks all fine and dandy. So let's just try and make use of the c6 weakness here. I can also sort of save or safeguard my queen from an attack on the b-file by playing queen a4. And this subsequently hits the c6 square. And of course my rooks can go to c1. So even though I'm down the bishop pair, I, s I feel... Like I might have an advantage here. Hmm. Okay, so um, now one rook is on a light square. He still has a light square bishop. Um, so I might play rook f to c1, but maybe there's also a more aggressive attacking move for me. Um, of course, I should also reckon. with rook b8, and I cannot go to a3 in that case. But rook f c1 looks fine to me, I'm, I'm not so sure, I'm not so sure. Rook b8, I want to go queen c3. I see another plan now, which is also quite nice, it's to go bishop, excuse me, Mm, okay, I don't think that's a good move. I don't think that's a good move. That's just too easy. That is just too easy. Yeah, but now I'm really, really piling up, huh? Um, maybe queen b7 is strong, because if he plays rook b8... I have rook c7 maybe, he takes my queen, takes my queen, no, that is not good. Okay, so I should hit... Yeah, let, let me try this, queen c3. I'm down on the clock, guys, I have to play faster, what is this? So the next move I want to play um, is queen c6 and really clamp down. On the structure there. He has counterplay on the light squares with queen g5 and bishop e4. I should be careful there as well. All of that is not so easy but I might have bishop f4 in between and um, also I might have uh, bishop g3 if and when needed. Hmm. So what's what's here? B4 is here. There's queen a5. What's the best move? What's the fastest move, basically? So I'm not sure. I think I'll go with this move. One defensive try for him could be to bring the bishop around, something like bishop d3 to b5 to protect c6. But then, of course, I will always be able to kick that bishop with... Um, Okay, let me go back all the way with a4. Now he's chasing me, but am I afraid? I mean, I could still take that pawn. Um, I'm 
Oh my gosh, I only have 35 seconds left. That's not very good, is it? Yeah, now I think I'll play this move. Yeah, I'll play this move. That looks fine. Somehow I did not play this very incisively, and he is really creating some very nice counterplay now. Okay, so we'll have to try and learn from this. Okay, yeah, that was expected, sort of, but now we'll just attack. Now I'm hitting this uh, c6 pawn twice, which is very nice. Twice, nice. Twice, nice. And now I should be hitting it a third time, but how can I do that? Like this, this is a double hit somehow. Then he'll go bishop b5, of course. No, he doesn't. Okay, well then I'll just take this pawn. Maybe it was a mouse slip. He wanted to go um, to b5. I'm not so sure. Anyway, I was going to play b3 and a4 there. And just embarrass his bishop. Now, of course, my position is very good again. What's the threat here? Maybe there is no immediate threat, actually. Well, I'll go here. That's, that's sort of frustrating, I suppose. But will I have sufficient time for the end game? That's another problem, huh? Okay, I'll just try and play this. Um, maybe we'll go rook c8 and we'll go into this end game. That's not very nice, yeah? Okay. Um, Let me try and go here. I'll have to be careful somehow. Maybe I have to create a, an escape square. Well, if I keep my rook over there, I think I'll be able to... Let's just try this. Oh, I don't have a lot of time anymore. That's not very nice. I must play much, much faster. Yeah, okay. Um, but I should be winning this game now. I should definitely be winning this game now. If only I have the time. If only I have the time, huh? Yeah, let's just try and play this. Let's frustrate him a little bit. Okay, I think I'll, do, I'll just take this because now I also get to take this. That should be an easy win. Okay, it's an easy win now. Yeah, let me go here. F3, King F2. Okay, now I'm just really saving time. And now we'll just start running the pawn. Very nice. Okay, if he takes that, I'll go like here, because then I have this double duo, and they can um, just promote quite easily. Of course, he can try and run all the way, um, but I don't think he'll be time, you know, taking my pawn on a3. I just don't think he'll be in time, so let me go here. Oh, maybe he will? Maybe actually he will? No, this should still win. I should have been a little bit more careful, I guess. This is very nice. Yeah, this is very nice. What's he doing? Okay, I can defend against that. My pawns should bring me victory. Yeah, my pawns should bring me victory. But I didn't really like the, the technique I used there. It was bad technique somehow. Maybe the whole game was not too good. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, so um, I played against Gorgia 1638. Thank you very much for playing me, Gorgia. Um, let's go to preferences. I think it makes much, or much, I think it makes more sense not to play in Zen mode here. So 
so uh, how long did this game take? I'm not exactly sure. Well, maybe around 10 minutes. So I think I'll just, you know, I'll have to figure out when, when to stop this uh, session. Okay, let's see. Create a game. Are the settings still the same? Yeah, the settings are still the same. Here we go. Zagzoni. Here we go. Play me. I play the black pieces. Let's try the Sicilian. Okay, I'll take that. That's the Mora Smith Gambit. Okay, but now I can win this tempo against the queen. Yeah, that's also quite nice. Uh, knight f6, because if e5, I'll have queen a5 check. That looks, um, that looks decent. Now maybe he does want to go e5, so let's just uh, protect against that threat, shall we? And now I think it's wise um, that we also block that diagonal. And then we'll try and finish development and take it from there. Bishop e7, castles, and... Okay, I'm not so sure what he wants to do with that. Maybe he was afraid of a <coughs> knight g4 somewhere along the way. Hmm, I might also just be opening up the position with d5 once I'm castled. Is that a good try to do that here, d5? No, I don't like it so much at the moment. Um, I think I'll just continue with my development somehow. Um, a6 and b5 look like good moves. Also, bishop d7 and rook c8 are fine, I would think. Because then I would have more tempo against... Mm, against the bishop. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what... Well, I need to make some move, right? What else can I try? What else can I try? Let's just go with a6 here. My opponent is playing very fast. Very fast. And so far, uh, really quite solidly, I must say. Hmm, there's also now... I missed that. Maybe that would have been better. To play knight e4. That's a very typical try, isn't it? Okay, now my queen is in the line of fire. Maybe we should have gone knight e4 still. But now with the rook vis-a-vis -vis my queen, I'm a little bit afraid uh, to start playing the d-file. So I don't want to do that really. But still, you know, it seems that both of us would have decent positions. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Um, that move, I, I'm not so sure about it. It just sort of clogs up the d-file and makes his bishop um, vulnerable to, to knight b4s and so on. Okay, I think I'll just take that. Now he's opening up for, for me. Um, well, he's also opening up for himself on the D file, right? Again, I should be careful. I should be careful. He's playing very decent chess here. I want to uh, be able to win his bishop on d3. That's somehow... So let's just try and do that. Eh? It's a double attack against g2, which I'm never going to take because it's too dangerous against my king to open up the g-file. I think that if I can get this bishop, then I might... Be enjoying an advantage. I might be enjoying an advantage there. Um, and then still, yeah, now he wants to go. Let's just stay. Now he wants to go bishop h6 stuff. Okay, let me just um, 
I think bishop h6 is always is not necessarily was g6. Um, maybe there's knight h5 then, huh? Okay, I, I think I like this move. A little bit of trickery. There's also knight e8. I think I'm just going to give the exchange. Just looks pretty somehow to do that. But I might have underestimated that now he is also creating a double attack. Knight h5. Let's go with knight h5 anyway. No, okay, let's just go here. I don't want to do that. And now let me go here, because otherwise there might be a double hit. Okay, I still like my position. I have two beautiful bishops. But objectively speaking, white might, might be winning. Uh, now I don't... Yeah, I can go... Rook c3, but I've already sacrificed an exchange there. Well, it's it's not convincing play by me, huh? Is it? It's really not. Rook c3, pawn takes knight e4, queen goes somewhere. Yeah, I can go to uh, to c7, for instance. Yeah, I don't think I should be giving up. Um, maybe I can just ruin his position with such moves as b4. Um, okay, well that's not necessarily a dangerous threat, is it? Um, how about this b4 that I wanted to play? I mean, his knight would not be so impressive there, would it? So let me just go with this. I'll try it. There was also bishop a3, interesting. Or maybe after all rook c3, because now knight e4, he couldn't go to c7. Now maybe also the d5 square becomes available for me. But my queen should get involved, yeah? Okay, I'm not really playing according to, according to the rules of good chess here, I think. Well, my idea was to attack the knight, so let's just go with that. I think I'm still quite safe. Where to go huh, with this knight? Where to go? Yeah, I'm getting a very strong grip of the dark squares now. He has to play b3, it seems. Then I'll just take on a4 and then knight d5 is coming and all my pieces go to the long diagonal. That's really very pretty. Knight d5 is also... I completely missed that. I completely missed that move. Wow. I completely missed that move. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, well then I have to go here. How did I miss that move? Because now the knight will jump to e5. Oh dear. Zagzoni, 12, 17. I don't think he's playing much stronger than his rating. What's what's going on here? Um, um, okay, but now I can take here. I think I'll just take this piece. Yeah, and now... In order for him to win uh, the bishop on c6, he has to attack the rook on b6. And he can do that with queen e3. Uh, but then, for instance, there might be knight d5. He can take that. But also, there is just some sort of simple queen b8 in that case. So this might have been his first mistake in an otherwise very, very good game so far, Zaxoni. 
Congratulations, that was very, very well played so far. But now I'm up material. If he goes f5, I can take that with the e-pawn, I should be safe. Unless there's some sort of double hit there. I don't really see it. Um, yeah, now I should start safeguarding my position, but then again e5 is possible. So let me first hit... Um, okay. Yeah, now it's getting more easy. I should have gone to e4 with the tempo, and then I could have gone there immediately to c3. Knight d5 was a bit uh, timid again. I should think more aggressively. I should think more aggressively. Well, let me just take that. And now I think... Yeah, what do you think? Let me just play this move with a little trick. Queen b4 is not possible because of rook d1 discovered the tech. Yes, okay, check. That's very nice. And then on the next move, I'll just play like this. Okay, I'm completely safe now. Queen c3 is coming. Queen c3 is coming. Queen c3 is coming, and now this should be checkmate. There's a, a revenge check on d8, but after king g7, it's mate on b2. And I also have sufficient time, of course, to execute that. Well, you basically need one second, second unless he plays rook g8. Otherwise, the pre-move is fine. Okay, here we go. Um, new opponent. Yep. Thank you, Zaxoni. Well played game. In the end, gear, in the end, there I think you blundered a piece. Okay, so let's see who's going to um, pick up my challenge. We can wait a little. Here we go. Strong player, yeah, Surge 6262. Let's see if I can make this London system work again. So far, so good, I guess. So, pretty standard stuff. Knight d2. If c5, then c3. Bishop d6. Okay, well, thank you very much. That's a piece. No, that's not possible, Surge. 6262, that's not possible. And I'm not taking prisoners, thank you for this game. New opponent. Well, so far so good, I, I guess. Who's playing me? Casacapa, oh, he's very strong. Um, so let's see, maybe we can fight him somehow. He's playing very fast, huh? He's playing some sort of uh, London system against me. He's playing very fast. Very, very fast. If I play c5, he takes, and then maybe also b4 is in the cards there. Um, okay. Okay, let's go with c5. <laughs> I think it's quite decent. Decent enough. And then this move. This is a well-known setup, you know, for the the King's Indian to turn it into a, a bit of a hybrid. Uh, basically, it's a double fianchetto. Um, okay, let's go here. I'm not sure the bishop on d3 is so well placed against this particular setup. Because now I'm threatening the, the bowling ball with e5, e4, uh, and forking two pieces on e4. So normally the bishop is better situated on e2 for that purpose. I think he realizes that now. But if he now takes, uh, let's say, on, on c5, how should I recapture? I mean, it, it looks very attractive to play knight, c5 hitting the bishop, and then I'm looking at e4 squares, 
and b3 squares but um yeah i think that that's okay because then i get to keep the central pole majority there will probably still be the e7 e5 follow-up okay um so what can i what can i do here a6 looks attractive um let's see that would be winning some space right unless he wants to give up the bishop pair um okay let's just try and gain some space here so he also wants me to go there okay i'll win more space even and now again i think i'll just follow up with e5 and see if this will bring me something i'm absolutely not sure if it will but i do see a square on d3 lurking but he, he can just drop back with the bishop but then maybe i'm really getting a lot of space yeah um If I play e4, I'm embarrassing his pieces. h6 is also a bit embarrassing his pieces. I have the feeling that I have a very good position now, but what and how to play it, huh? That's the big question. h6, h4, g5, bishop g3, yeah, hmm. Let me just go with this. <clears throat> I'm really not sure what's going on here, but he's given me so much time and space to put my pawns forward that many of his pieces will be in the box now. For instance, knight h4, h6, he's basically forced to give up that bishop and then ret retake with my bishop, and then the knight on h4 is hanging. Um... On the other hand, he will have play on the queen side with a4. But then may lead only to an exchange of some major pieces. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So how can I embarrass his... Because his queen is still looking here. One idea for him might be to go knight g4 in exchange of many pieces. So I think I'll just start with this move. Yeah, okay. Now I think a healthy move should be d5. Or is there some more trickery? Well, the only active move I see is g5, and of course it will go to g3 as mentioned. Uh, and then there is knight h7, f5, f4. But I, I don't know if I want to include... Maybe it's nice uh, not to include... I'm a little bit scared somehow, but let's just give this a go. You no, know, aggressive. Oh, yeah. I, th I, I, I missed that here he can go bishop d6. Can he go bishop d6? Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, let's go here anyway. Now, if knight g4, then I basically want to go knight h7 and f5. Yeah, so I'm overprotecting h5, and now I'm threatening to run him down with f5, f4, even though he's still controlling the f4 square. My gosh. And I don't even know if it's, if it's a good strategy in general. 
I have to put my rook back on f8 then, or my queen on f6. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure if all of this is so correct. Let's just go. Let's go. If he takes on b5, uh, I can take on g4, of course. So I'm expecting the knight to go back. Yeah, and now I should be able to trap the bishop. Well, I don't think so. f4, he takes. I take. He takes again with the bishop on f4. And then e3 looks to be a trick, but... This somehow looks very attractive. Now I think uh, the threat really is but f form here. No, I take that en passant. Um, but this is a piece, isn't it? So let me just take that piece. I hope I'm not making a mistake here. He can get the pawn over there. Yeah. Let's just try this. This this looks like a piece. If he takes that, then I can go here. I should just somehow try and stop his initiative on the queen side. Of course, he has definite, definite counterplay there. Maybe it was safer to go A takes B5. But, you know, winning a piece is not bad. Winning a piece is not bad. Oh, I missed this. I missed this counter trick. That's really a pity. That's a real pity. So where to go? Where to go? G5 looks nice somehow. Yeah, G5 looks very good. Even though it doesn't take away the square from my knight, yeah? I have to keep protecting f uh, f4. I'm still threatening that bishop, yes. I'm still threatening that bishop. And who knows who's better here. I'm dangerous now because the bishop is on c2. Okay, I missed knight g4. That's a pity. So then my combination was not correct. Uh, then my combination was not correct. Now he can take on a6, I suppose. But the queen is also protecting his knight on... Oh, look, knight h6 is also horrible. Yeah. Um, okay, let me just try and play this. If he takes on a8, I think I will take that with the rook. And now h5 is a threat, threatening his knight again. That's very nice. And rook b2 is in the cards, but then there's always queen b1. I'm up on the clock. h5 is a threat. Yeah, so he has to go, sort of. Um, but then he would be attacking me one, two, three, four times. Is there a counter there? One. Well, I'm also protecting. Okay, well, I don't have time anymore. That's, that's a real pity. That's a real pity. So knight of two is, of course, the way to go for him. 
And then I think I must play knight h over here. Okay, let's lengthen. I might be in trouble still. Um, so let's just see how to take that. There is, of course, the problem. If he takes on f4, then I want to go bishop c2. Yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, this might might have been very smart. No, that's not possible. Ah, ah it's still not possible. Okay, I have to be careful. I have to be careful. It doesn't work. Ah, it just didn't work somehow. Huh? It didn't quite work um well maybe this then if he takes my queen i can take his queen oh guys come on i don't have time for this okay oh it just didn't work Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. There's a check on d4, maybe. And otherwise, I'll just run down. Check. And goes. Um, okay, check again. Check here. Yeah, uh, where to go? Difficult. Let's just stay on a dark square for now. Uh, okay. Ah, I lost some time there. Ah, I lost some time. But of course, I think white is better, isn't he? Well, okay, that's a pity. That's really a pity. I lost some time there. So, how about the uh, the final position? Why does better? Yeah, plus oh seven. But that was a really very fierce struggle there. Very fierce. So I wanted to play knight to six exactly, but I'm too late. The threat there would be. Mm, well, he could go rook f five. No, the knight is protected. The threat would there be knight e four. Yeah, but white is better anyway. Okay, well, that was a very tense game. Thank you to Casa Kappa. Um, we play another game. Create a game. 5-3 casual. Here we go. Yeah, I missed this knight g4 trick in between. He was giving me a lot of space there. So if I would just quietly recapture on, on b5, it would have been better. Casa Mike, 1809. Here we go. Um, let's try this. Okay, that's interesting. Knight c6 against this Lomond system, yeah, not knight d7. Okay, I should have realized that that was the idea immediately, I suppose. I mean, we can exchange stuff, but. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Let me just go back. If he takes on d4, I'll just pre-move this. He takes d4. Yeah, I might go d5, but then we have this closed structure in the center. I don't really like that so much. Well, this is a tough game. Really, I don't feel very much in control. Yeah, so now he wants to go here. Okay, but I think I'm gonna try and... Maybe I could have started 
actually with opening up the position because now we'll play e4. Yeah, silly me. Silly, silly me. Uh uh uh. No, yeah, all's not lost yet, I guess. I first should have taken. Uh, now it's now it's now it's interesting. He's opening up. He's opening up the London diagonal. What's going on? Boom. Let's take. Okay, maybe my knight's trapped. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. That could be a bit of a problem. But for the moment, he's also not threatening it. So let's just continue nibbling at his position. Bring in more reserves, huh? Bring in more reserves. If he takes it, I think bishop uh, c4 check is the simplest because then I also have the the e6 escape square. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Yeah, but now I think. Um, well, there's many, there's many ways to play this now. I can win another pawn. I think we should be going for that somehow. Let's just try and win this pawn, yeah? And now I'll just retreat the knight and simultaneously also hit the rook. The question is, will he see that? Questions will he see that? And then my question is, will I? Hmm. Okay. More London bishop stuff going on here. Bishop c7, yeah? You see, it's just sometimes that we have to look for the simple tactics. Thank you very much. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, let's continue. New opponent. Yeah, there was there was not precise opening play, I think there. I should have taken on e5 and only then knight c3, because then I'm ensured of some central play against his uh, attack on the king side. But when he played d6, d5, he was really opening up my London bishop, and I think that was a mistake. Hmm. Okay. Tom Ketchum, maybe starting out. Hello, he says, Tom Ketchum. Hello to you too. Okay, 986. How do I learn how to not suck at yes? Ah, good question. Maybe you can take a look at my videos I'm suggesting. My videos. Okay, well, maybe he doesn't look at chess, yeah? And he's trying to lure me into some sort of an underdog position for him. Okay. Yeah. I think he's playing fine, so maybe he's some s trying to lure me into some sort of an underdog position here. Okay, I'm um, not sure you guys can see the chat because I know that my, my webcam is hovering over the chat here. Mm, if I just, uh, yeah. Well, I think you can see some of the messages. Bishop g3. So if he takes on g3, I'll just pre-move h takes g3. Um, okay, let me just try and set up some light square business here. 
if now bishop a6 I can take that and queen a4 and then I'm just winning that piece right but I'm not expecting that he will go there Okay, he is just resigned and he wants a rematch. I'll give him a rematch. Okay, here we go again. How do you spell that? Okay, let's see. What can we do here? Um, maybe attack that pawn on e4? Yeah, I think so. Tom. Um, that's dangerous, isn't it? Maybe we can just set up a little bit of a trick here. I want to play knight e4, and then if he recaptures, it's queen h4, you know? Hmm, but I don't know if that's even strong enough or winning or something. But we might just go for it, because it's good fun, because I have knight d4 check. Of course, he cannot go g3 in between, because then queen e4 is a double hit on the king and on the rook. So what I want to do is this, then if he recaptures, I want to go here, hit the king, then if g3. Yeah, so let's just try this right now. Boom. And then go with this check. Yeah, so now he does play this move. And now I'm just picking up the rook in the corner, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just take that. Now I'm threatening the knight as well. If he goes knight f3... Then... My queen will not get out immediately, will it? And he's also attacking e5 there, so I probably will have to go with something solid. What could be solid there after knight f3? Knight f3, knight f3. Yeah, good, good move, good move, good move, mister. Maybe bishop d6 is good enough. He takes on c5, I go bishop c7, and then he goes d4 and we'll just castle. Let's try something like that. Okay, now if he takes on c5 and knight d4, he takes on d4. Yeah, okay. Maybe now knight d4? And now knight d4 is good. Isn't it? Knight d4. It's just about everybody. And then it also sort of frees up my queen. He takes, I take with the c pawn. Yeah, I, 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 I trust in that position. I think I trust in that position. But I also need to make a sanitary stop, guys. Okay, but that's a queen. Thank you very much.
Yeah, he resigned there. Okay, can I somehow... Um, well, okay guys, I think I'll just stop the session here because other things need to be done, nature calls, and I don't really know how to, uh, how to pause the recording. So thanks very much uh, for your attention. Hope to see you in, a, in another video anytime soon. And please, SLC, subscribe, like, or comment on YouTube. Bye-bye.